So, hi guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, you're probably wondering why I've uploaded three times in three days, because I'm so bored without the season, and I want to do some videos, because it's quite fun. So, I made a massive list yesterday, as well as doing other stuff. This one is 10 players we should sign from the National League for the National League next season. So, take it over. All right. Byron Harrison, uh, place for Barrow, 19 goals, um, 124, uh, 124 minutes per goal. Uh, and and he plays up front. I made the, all the lists, but Elliot's just saying it. So I picked Byron Harrison because he's not really that old either. He's got experience in the National League, scoring 19 goals and 124 goals, per, like 120, not goals, 124 minutes per goal is a pretty good record. So also another one. Michael Cheek, Braintree, 19 goals, again 124 minutes per goal, and plays up front. But the thing about him, he I think Braintree finished like third from bottom. So he finished like in the relegation zone with a bad side, really, and scored 19 goals and finished like fifth top scorer in the National League. That is pretty good going. Uh, Alex Woodyard, uh, Lincoln, um, he only scored two goals but 88 appearances and in the central League. midfielder. He's, yeah, he's he's. Apparently played really well from what I've heard from Lincoln fans, and he's got experience and he's like twenty and he's twenty four years old, so that's pretty good going. Jake Cole, this is the only goalkeeper we've got in here. All the shot goalkeeper over a hundred national league appearances. He's played thirty nine and kept eighteen clean sheets. That's pretty good going, to be honest. Forty six point two percent. He keeps a clean sheet in forty six point two percent record. That is pretty good going, but the only thing he is 31, but still, that's not really that old for a goalkeeper. Um, oh, yeah, Nathan Arnold, another Lincoln player, but he's a winger. Uh, he's play, had around uh, 200 National League appearances and scoring 43 goals along. And he's 29. Obviously, he's achieved a promotion this season, top of the league with Lincoln, and he's someone who's, I mean, 200 National League appearances is, is good. We need experienced National League players. From what I gather from Lincoln fans as well, he is a good player. 43 goals scored with all in that time, but he played for Mansfield as well, and I think maybe Grimsby on loan. The next one, again, another Lincoln player, Alan Power, Lincoln, centre mid, over 250 National League appearances, scoring 35 goals. He's 29 years old, and he's played for Lincoln since 2011 as well, so maybe he might want to change. But the fact they're going up to the... Lead to lead two, obviously, will probably mean they'll probably keep most of their plays. But if we could get hold of him, he's very physical in the midfield. He'd be an ideal player you want to kind of just really hold the midfield nicely within the National League. Uh, Keanu Marsh-Brown, Keanu Marsh oh, yeah. that's he the pronunciation. He's played Forrest Green, who recently just got promoted. He's 24, winger. Uh, played at England youth level. 70 National, National League appearances, well, around that, scoring 22 goals. And he's only 24 years old. That's pretty good going. I think he scored only like 12 for this season. As a winger, that's good. He's 24 years of age. He played in the academy for Fulham. He's got uh, England youth experience, which is good. It obviously shows that he's got something in him that is very promising. The next one, obviously, you'll all be familiar with him. Ben Chorley, ex-Orient. He's a leader. He's solid. He's... 34 years of age, 100 plus National League appearances, and he plays currently for Bromley. The reason why I picked Ben Chorley, he clearly, clearly loves the club. He was our ex captain. He's done since, you know, we've had Bashetti in charge and how bad things have got. He's even been, you know, he's done an article about how bad he feels for him. He was solid for us. You know, he's just a no nonsense defender, proper old school, proper classic. You kind of want someone like that in the National League. Someone who's got that experience, someone. You know, he's got a wise head on him and can lead the team properly. The next one. Uh, Zach Warney, obviously another ex-Orient player. He's free agent, he's strong, a leader and definitely experienced But and 31 years old. The reason why I put Zach Warney in there, obviously he's not in playing in the National League. He is an ex-Orient player, another good, good centre-back. He played for us at youth level. He genuinely does care about the club. It'd be great to see him back, you know, in a no show. That'd be brilliant. He's just a very good player as well. He's been captain at Northampton and Peterborough, so he he's a leader as well. If we had him and Ben Chorley at the back, that'd be so solid. Although he hasn't played in the National League, 
he still is a good defender, would fit very nicely within the club. The last one I've got down is Blair Turgut. Obviously, remember him from last season. Currently plays for Bromley. Ex-Orient. He's very promising. This season, he's played 43 games for Bromley, scoring 12 goals. Obviously, plays in the wing and has played for England youth. He's 22 years of age as well. He is a good player. You know, I thought he was very promising with us last season. Didn't really get much of a chance. Probably we should have kept him and loaned him out to Bromley or someone like that. that great goal, though. Did score that very famous goal against Stevenage on that Tuesday night. But he he is a good player. I really did like him watching him towards the end of the season, especially last season. He's picked up a player of the month as well in the National League. He's gone away from Orin and has really, really progressed at his career. Unfortunately, you know, that's what happens when players leave Orin. And that's well, it's not that good, is it? But he's a good player. I really would like to see him back because he's a real handful and he really would be a real handful down there as he's already showing it. So, yeah, that was a video. 10 players who we should sign from the National League. If you're not subbed to my channel, then please hit that red subscribe button below and turn on the post channel notifications, which is the little bell. I will be making more videos. I will try and get a video up daily. That's my plan. But, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.